Hello, the Sepic Review is doing a walkthrough for King's Quest 2, Romancing the Fraud on the PC. Um, taking that necklace that I found in a random log in the middle of nowhere. Awesome. Alright, saving my game, right? So yeah, in a lot of ways, all the gameplay and stuff is pretty much identical to the first game. But what makes this game so much better is legendary moments like the Batmobile and so many other moments to come. Uh, like, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything. We'll talk about that when we get there. Yeah, so in the first few parts, I'm just, oh, that darn dwarf again. He won't leave me alone. In the first few parts, I just wander around and collect items. Um, that I'll use for the future. This is a 100% walkthrough. So, I am getting all the useless crap that no one even gives a shit about. Just for, just to say it's 100%. Okay, this ladder's a little tricky. If you, uh, walk down it the wrong way, then, uh, you die. So, you might want to try using the mouse, maybe. If you have a version of this game where you can use the mouse, I do. Sorry about the shaky camera. Alright, chicken soup. Okay, cool. Let's take some chicken soup. So yes, the dwarf uh, likes robbing from us, so we're going to go rob from him. Eat that dwarf. Alright, I wonder what's in the trunk. Uh, let's look in the trunk. Oh my god, what could it be? What could it be? Earrings, oh boy, more jewelry, and I was expecting something cool. Yeah, you actually gotta type, take the earrings. You can't just type earrings, like a damn moment ago. Computer doesn't understand that. Alright. Rob this place. Uh, let's see. Where else can we go? Yeah, you gotta walk up the ladder twice. Here I am falling off of it. You don't die if you fall off at the very bottom, but if you get up just a little bit higher, you probably die. Here's, here I am saving my game, just in case. I don't want to die and have to restart all that stuff that I just uh, went through because that would be horrible. You know, walk through. No. So, right. Here I'm saving again. Uh, save a little bit more than necessary, maybe. I'm not sure. I may have been uh, thinking about trying to avoid the dwarf. Because if you get attacked by that dwarf, you're pretty much screwed. Right. Let's go this way. Okay, let's go up another screen. Right, so in Daventry, uh, in the first game, the world of Daventry, you, if you keep going west, Let's just say you just decide to go west, and you just keep going west. You'll eventually, <clears throat> eventually, uh, be at the same screen that you originally were at. It's a, it's a wrap around world. All the screens eventually wrap around. Like if you keep going east, you'll eventually, uh, wind up right back where you were originally. Uh, King's Quest 2 is a little different. If you keep getting, going north, let's say, you'll wind up in the same place. But the west and east actually have an end to them. They don't wrap back around. The wrap around world thing, it's 
it's strange. I mean, it's unique and stuff. I mean, at least it's different. All right, here I am trying to figure out what to do. Nothing new. Keep this thing still. Uh, okay. Walking. It's a game about walking, people. Uh, I feel like I'm watching The Lord of the Rings all of a sudden. Sorry. Clerk's reference right there. Uh, I, I have no idea where the hell I am going. Looks like I'm wandering around in circles. Okay, here we go. Grandma's house. This is where I want to be. Because I'm going to go steal for Grandma now. No, she actually gives us goodies. Oh, no, it's a wolf. So, yeah, if you see the wolf in here, just turn and run. Don't mess around with the big bad wolf. And then you walk back in, and he's replaced with an old woman. Oh, whoa. How completely bizarre. Alright, let's talk to this old woman. Grandma, you have to call her. Even though I don't think she's Graham's grandma, but who the hell knows? Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's be nice. And give her some... Soup! When am I... When am I gonna give her the soup? Okay, here I go. Oh, my back's killing me. Sorry. So, sorry about that. Like I said, the uh, video quality might not be as good in this walkthrough. What the hell do you have under your bed? The wolf? Can't figure out where else he could have gone. Cool. Okay. Let's... Get all dressed up for no reason. Graham with his jewelry. Kind of gay, if you ask me. Graham's... Graham's... Graham's strange, though. I mean, in 5, he's, like, out picking flowers and stuff at the beginning of the game. In this game, he's, like, obsessed with collecting jewelry. Kind of a weird guy. Mm. Right, now what am I going to do? I'm going to save my game. I'm going to call it King Graham for no reason. So yeah, uh, don't do what I do and just uh, like uh, name your save games, random things you should call your save game stuff like, let's say, if I saved right here, I should probably call it Outside Grandma's House. Keep it simple, so you when you go to reload your game, you'll actually be like, uh, you actually know what save game is which, which save game is which. So you got this random little area out here that's fenced in that you can't do anything in. Totally, they totally didn't need it. Totally unnecessary. But it's okay. That's cool. So, right. I think we're going to uh, We're going somewhere to the bridge, I do believe. Mm, so, yeah. Uh, I think King's Quest 2 is actually maybe a bit longer than the first game due to a uh, higher score. You can get uh, the high scores... Uh, has larger numbers than it did in the first game, so I'm assuming this game's longer. I never really could tell. They both seemed about the same, actually, but maybe this game's longer due to the 
a larger score or whatever. Or maybe you just get more points when you do everything. Who knows? All right, so boy, it's a door. Let's look at this door that's just standing here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that must be a magical door. The mysterious guy in our mind tells us these things. I mean, sorry, that's strange. Uh, nice. So yes, the inscription gives you a very vague hint as to what to do next. It's very vague though, but I'll show you what to do since this is a walkthrough and stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, so this bridge you can only cross seven times. Remember that. If you cross any more times, it means you're death. That's the end of part. Watch next part. Goodbye.